Good evening there, so it's Kerry here from Pacific Tide Lexus Ken. So what I would like to do for you today is a high definition Verta tour of our 2018 Toyota Fortuna Crusader 4x4 7 seater, basically a uh, luxury version. So I'm just gonna go through the interior, exterior of the motor vehicle as I'm gonna do it with the video. Basically go through the wheel arches, rims, tires, and also through the paint, just to make sure there's no bad perfections on the paint itself. And then go through also through the engine bay as well too and go around the engine bay just to make sure everything's spot on. So before I do that, I just want to let you know a little bit more about the dealership itself. We're actually one or two pre-owned dealerships here in Final Queensland. So we're actually sitting right on at 77 Mulgrave Road. That's actually basically in the city of Cairns. So we're about 1.5 kilometres away from this heart of the city. I'm not too sure you've actually been here before, Sue. Um, this is a beautiful place, tropical Queensland. So we also, as you can see around here, I'll show you a little bit more of vehicles as well too. As you can see in the background, that's our showroom floor. It's actually two stories. And our second pre-owned yard, it's about 235 Mulgrave Road. That's basically south of us on the left-hand side, about two kilometers. Next to that is our franchise dealership as well too. Lexus as well too, and also our parts department service. Besides that, we actually own Officer Lock and Coral Motors and Pacific Hino as well too. So we actually haul up to about 160 to 200 cars at all times and we sell exactly the same amount of cars every month in and month out. We, we buy the exactly the same as well too. So further ado, what I'm going to do is just get straight into the vehicle itself and show you a little bit more about our Fortuna that we actually have in stock for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down to the front bar. As you can see, it's fitted out with the colour-coded uh, Toyota bull bar on it, the Lux go through that bull bar as well itself as you can see it's got the um iron man light bar on the front of it just step back a little bit here and also you've got your fog lights down below that it's got the front underneath that there it's got a little bit of a dash plate as well too and then you've got your side rails that go with it with the side steps as well just going to go up into the bonnet just to make sure there's no preferred perfections in the paint just go across the top of the bonnet bonnet's in a really good condition Fantastic, just go up onto that windscreen just to make sure there's no chat, chips or cracks in the windscreen itself. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, while I'm actually at the front, I'm just gonna lift up the bonnet and just go through the engine bay while I'm here. Fantastic, very clean, very tidy. So as you can see, the vehicle has been looked after. It is a one owner. It's got a great service history all through uh, Toowoomba Toyota. So I'm just going to go down the left side of the vehicle right here now, so and just going to make my way to the rear of the vehicle. And then as you can see from the rear of the vehicle, I'm just going to get a bit of an angle here and just give you a look down on the left side of the vehicle as well too. Fantastic, it looks in really good condition. You can see that paint's in really, been looked after really well. Just going to go up onto the bonnet now, up onto the roof. Just go across the top of that spoiler. Just make sure there's no fading in the paint or any bad perfections on that side. That looks fantastic, looks really good. Okay, just gonna go through the interior on the passenger side now and just check out how clean and tidy this vehicle is inside. Down onto the kick panel, you can see it's got electric seats as well on the passenger side. You can see they're fitted out with the uh, rubber floor mats as well too. And basically back up onto the dash, you've got the cup holders this side. And then having a look at that driver's side leather, as you can see that the leather's actually been looked after, it's been treated really nice. You can see that they're kept in really good condition. Exactly the same as on the passenger side as well too. Looks really good. Okay, so looking in the rear part now, just on that passenger rear door, see that trim is actually in really really good condition it's probably one of the best ones i've actually ever seen so far up onto the back of the seat on both sides on the passenger and driver's side and then basically in the middle of the row of the seats itself and then i'm just going to fold that seat down now just to give you a look in the back of that area how much space and room those back seats are actually folded up on each side right there and I'll just push that seat back down. Before I go to the rear of the vehicle, I just want to go around the wheel arch as well. You can see how tidy, tidy and clean actually underneath there. So it's never done any off-road. It's basically just been driven on main bitumen. You've got your rims, you've got your good-sized tyres, all-terrains, 
down onto the kickboard there with the sideboards and then back up through the uh, front wheel arch as well too. See how clean, look at you can see the paint still in really good condition inside. Going back from that side, looking down at those rims are really in great condition. I just noticed that on this front there, there's just a couple of little marks here, but we can brush those for you as well too. Okay, looking on the rear bar now, just gonna go around the rear bar. You can see it's got rear sensors on it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Couple of little uh, chip marks there, just from wear and tear, but we can actually brush touch those for you. Okay, so as just underneath the tailgate here, you've got the reverse camera, and all I do is just because it's got a power lift rear door, I'm just gonna lift that up, remote. That's just off the key. Fantastic. So let's just go inside the rear part here. So you can see that the seats are folded up on each side. It's got the rubber floor mat, so that the cargo mat in the back of it, up on that side of the seat. And then I'll just press that button there and that'll actually, the tailgate will go back down again. Nice. Okay, so looking down the driver's side now, I'm just gonna go to the front of the vehicle. That looks in really good condition. You can see the angle on that side there for you. So, just gonna go around the wheel arch here on this side now, just to go underneath, just to check it, uh, make sure it's in really good condition. Like I said, the tires are really great. You've got the rims there as well. I'm in a little bit of a situation that's pretty tight here. I'm um, going down on the kickboard and then basically back through the uh, rear wheel arch as well too, checking those tires out and then basically down onto the rear whim that's got no gutter ash on it okay looking inside this interior on the driver's side now cup holes in each doors up onto the back of the seat and make my way around to the other side to the second row seats here you can see that the seats have been looked after really well you can see the nice climb and shine on them all right going through the driver's side door now just looking at the trim down onto the panel here you do get a bit of wear and tear but this is actually in really good condition especially being an 18 plate and it's only done 81,000 k's but it's been locked after really well so through that you've got your push button start just below that you've got your light bar your idle your parker sensors your rear pale tailgate your dpf and then on the side of the doors you've got your jbl uh, tweeters Okay, just going to jump inside the vehicle now. Just going to start the vehicle up. Oh, that looks really nice. It's got that blue effect coming out of the dash itself. 81,689 on the clock. Just before I go away from the steering wheel, I just want to show you if there's no bad perfections, you've got the nice wood grain effect on that side of the steering wheel. And then just below that as well too, um, you've got your Bluetooth, your voice recognition, your volume controls, and on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your display, that's a part of the um, inside the cluster. And then you've also got your cruise control there as well too. So just having a look over here, um, you've got your clock with the audio sound system, so it's JBL sound system through it, so a very high quality sound system. You've got your uh, UHF, uh, not UHF, sorry about that too, so your reverse camera. And just below that side as well too, um, you've got your dual aircon system, so rear aircon system, and then you can adjust your climate control from left to right as well. Underneath that there has got your four-wheel drive switchover, your hill descent, and your heated seats on the left and right, USB AUX, and then you've got your auxiliary chargeable 12 volt. Um, just closing that up, just to give you a look at that wood grain effect, how clean and tidy that it's actually been looked after. Just in the center part, you've got your locking four-wheel drive, your your traction control and then basically your EP as I mean like your eco mode and then your power mode for your transmission. Okay, um, just on the back of the steering wheel you've got your paddle shift for your transmission, changing your gear up or changing your gear down as you can see there as well too. Um, before I go away I just want to show you through the service book here as well too. As I was saying towards, it's got Toowoomba service all the way through up to 21 as well too. Then your next service is due after that. Uh, at 30,000 and then after that one it's 40,000 after that one again it's like it's just with the 10 USC service by um, Toyota dealership 
all the way through, 60,000. 67, and then they did another one at 80,000 Ks. So like I said to you, it's only got 81,000 Ks on the clock. Okay, it's coming to the end of the video, but thank you very much. I appreciate your inquiry today um, over the weekend. So if there's any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. But thank you very much. Hopefully I can make you a proud owner of this 2018 Toyota Fortuna Crusader 4x4 seven-seater wagon. Thank you.